After three months, the Dolly cargo ship is no longer in Baltimore, but set sail for Virginia this morning. Meanwhile, business is returning to the port of Baltimore. WMER 2 News Elizabeth Worthington brings us the very latest. After spending two months stuck beneath the wreckage of the bridge it destroyed and another month docked at Seagirt Marine Terminal, the Dolly finally sailed out of Baltimore. First, passing through the channel below where the key bridge once stood. Then sailing underneath the Chesapeake Bay Bridge a few hours later as a crowd of people watched from Sandy Point State Park. It was wild. It, the ship is much bigger than what we really uh, expected. Stephen Swan set up camp here to get a front row seat for the Dolly's journey. Robert Cohen just got lucky. He snapped this photo from the beach. I decided this morning to come down here. I haven't been here in probably 35 years. The GPS thing took us a different way instead of coming, you know, down the down the 97 and uh -huh. stuff because I guess they had all this blocked off. Yeah. And then what I saw it's like that's pretty wild. The Dolly is on the way to Virginia, where about 1,500 cargo containers will be offloaded. She'll stay in Norfolk for continued salvage operations and repairs. Meanwhile, back at the Port of Baltimore, business is returning. That includes American Roll-On, Roll-Off Carrier, or ARC, which resumed its regular calls on the port last week. It's seamless. It's like nothing ever happened. But the impact of the port closure was certainly felt. It, it was devastating um, at first. We did not calculate our um, exact financial loss. Um, it's definitely in the millions of dollars. ARC rerouted most of its business to Georgia. Deciding to return to Baltimore once the port reopened was a no-brainer. Baltimore is our largest port in the U.S. Um, every one of our ships uh, calls Baltimore twice. Once on the, It's the first port, port of call inbound from Europe, and it's the last port of call outbound from Europe. Uh, we've had 100, we have about 150 port calls per year in the Port of Baltimore. As we look towards rebuilding the Key Bridge, one of the priorities will be keeping the Port of Baltimore open as much as possible throughout the construction, which is expected to start next year. In Baltimore, Elizabeth Worthington, WMAR 2 News.